You understand what probation means? Uh, yes, sir. It means that if you continue down that same path, you'll be locked up and calling some cellmate daddy within a month. Yes, sir. If I had it my way, we wouldn't waste our time. You'll be inside already. Mr. Gray has made great progress. His share on willfulness was one of the most powerful things I've ever heard. I, I believe in this man. Well, let's hope you don't live to regret that faith. God works in mysterious ways. <laughs> in this case, it seems God is downright perverse. But I'll leave the salvation to you gentlemen. You stay out of trouble. Yes, Daddy. Excuse me? Yes, sir. Billy, remember, it's a disease. I know, Chad, I know. It's a disease. Meetings every day. Call you if I feel the need to use. Pray. I pray. In fact, I'm praying right now. You're very willful. Was very willful, Chad. Was very willful. I've changed. And you know what, Chad? You changed me. Gentlemen, shall we get the fuck out of here? Hey, stay in touch. Yo. Here you go. It's about time. Sweet home. <laughs> Keep getting 
caught them, Billy. You can't stay away from it. <laughs> now, let's be clear. I keep getting caught because assholes like you ain't watching out for me. Don't question me. Sometimes you gotta look out for yourself, Billy. Okay, I'll save my questions until I see the chapter. And you better have looked after my baby. Not much, Bill. The usual stuff. We missed you, Bill. So, aching for a fucking drink here? Amiguito. Come on, just pour a Willy wet back. Boys, salute wet you pussy motherfuckers. And Salud. <laughs> okay, oh, another round for you. Everyone. Goddamn right. <sighs> mm, yummy. So, Johnny boy, where's my bike? You know where it is. Let me rephrase the question. Where the fuck is my bike, and where the fuck haven't you got it back for me? Because you know where it is. Are you deaf? Give me that whiskey. Are you fucking deaf? No! Then answer the goddamn question. Why the fuck haven't you got it back for me, friend brother? One word. Business. Like I told you when you were in there. Or were you so busy playing holier than thou, you started believing your own bullshit? Oh, forgive me. You know, I've had a complicated few weeks. I can only imagine, though. Shut up, Brian. You know, coming off heroin's kind of hard. I think I acquired this touch of amnesia. What business is more important, Mr. 1980s yuppie big shot, than your best friend's bike when he's close to getting a 15-year stretch? The business that pays his lawyer's fees. The business that puts food on all of our tables. The business that we are all in while you're out pretending to be saved. Get my bike! What am I, your fucking dog? I told you you should have gotten the bike. You told me? You told me you don't tell me shit, you little fuck! Listen, Billy. They were pissed, and they had a reason. Your bike chopped that girl's leg off. You put Joe John's nephew in a coma. The deadbeats kept the bike, and we needed the money. You needed some balls. Ugh. Some fucking heart. Something. Can't believe I'm hearing this shit. Yeah. And I can't believe I'm hearing this. After everything we did for you. Paid your rehab, paid your lawyer's fees, paid your rent, paid everything. Shit, we set stuff up for you. We do well, man, but it's time to be smart. You're right, you're right. No, you're right. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run right out and buy a condo, get a mortgage, 401k, and then fold that over into an IRA and a CD. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? Be smart? You be smart, you fucking chump. You're ridiculous. Have you got a health care plan? Come on, Johnny, let's just get his bike. Come on. Well, on your head be it. It always is. It's called leadership. Shit meaning something. Yeah, and your shit means a lot, man. Come on. Hey, Johnny. Yeah? Wait, come here. Listen, man. I'm a little pin up right now. You saw that shit I had to go through, right? It was really frustrating, fucked up shit, craziness, right? Okay, so I'm a little pissed off and I've been a bit of a prick lately. But come on, man. You and Angus built that bike for me? That's gotta stand for something. Yeah, you're right, brother. I'm gonna go get it. And you know what? Peace and prosperity be damned. Peace and prosperity be damned, my brother. You are my brother, Johnny. Always. Let's go! Brothers, I couldn't let you run this errand without me. You might fuck it up. Man, Scooch up, Johnny man. boy. I'm riding bitch. That guy with the four gun might know where the bike is. He's over at Guantanamo. Look at me. Managed to avoid prison, and I'm still ass the cock with a dude. Yeah, well, I ain't too happy about it neither, man. You want to turn around and go back to the clubhouse? I'm happy about it, all right, John Boy. Fuck, after that therapy shit, the drink in the road's all I need. Good to know. 
You've been missing me all that time I spent sharing and caring and rehab? Let's get your bike and save the emotions for later. You know what, Johnny? You can do some of the trust exercises they got in there. I'm gonna blindfold you when we get back. All you gotta do is fall over and trust that your brothers are gonna catch you. <laughs> can you do that? You boys will be too drunk to catch VD, let alone 230 pounds of rapidly approaching middle age. Technically, you are 230 pounds of Jewish biker, John Boy. Your faith has got to come first. Religion, Billy. Religion. I gave up with faith. Johnny the Jew, Clevitz the he. Good to be here, man. Good to fucking be here. What's your problem? Nothing, man. I'm the leader of the chapter again, Johnny, and you're just another brother. Can you handle it? As long as you run the chapter right, we can all handle it. I'll run it the way it needs to be run. Same as the three guys before me did, same as I'm doing now. Really? Feels kind of different. Before, all we cared about was having fun, brothers, getting shit-faced. Screw you, you get in our way, you're gonna get your teeth kicked in. Thank you for Jerry. And now, what's it feel like to you, Jonathan? Feels like knocking heads is a full-time job. And maybe if we stop doing it for a minute, we look around and realize that the fun ended a long time ago. Yeah? Well, I signed up to be a brother for life, you ungrateful fuck. If you're in the loft for the good times only, fair weather weekends and the careways, then you ain't in the loft. You get me? Chill out, man. I just hope when we decide to take a break, to slow down, that it's still an option on the table. Pretty boy. Hey! Where's the bike? Oh, it's good to see you too, tough guys. Uh, what bike are you talking about exactly? You know what we're talking about? Billy's bike. Billy's bike? <laughs> Jesus, man. It's been a long time. I thought he was dead. What's he wanted for? To sell for crack, right? Hey? Shut up. Listen, you know how it is. Things passed hands. Parts been changed up. Hard to say if that chopper's even around anymore. Sorry, boys. You will be, my friend. You will be. Hey! Good to see you, Bill. Man, I, I thought you was dead. Jim, start up the bike. Whoa! Hold on! Wait! Please! Please! No! 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 no. Where is my ah, bike? Ah, no, Speak, you on. ugly ah, fuck! Ah, okay, listen. Ah, the Angels of Death took it to that place in Northwood. What the fuck? The Angels of Death! Me. Thank you! Yes. Thank you! Come on, let's get this over with. You didn't have to do that. He told you who had the bike. You really got south, haven't you, Johnny? You know? You could do with a stretch in the joint. Might hard you up. Whatever. What about an eye for an eye and all that shit? You should have been the one making that guy pay for holding out. Enough with that shit. We got more things to worry about than respect and stupid kid stuff. We gotta keep business afloat or we're fucked. You just don't get it, do you? This is what it's about. This. Not that money shit. We're in it to stick it to all those yuppies and hippies and motherfucking deadbeats. Give me a stiff drink, some hard drugs, the wrong my chopper, that's all I need. Maybe an occasional bit of a hole. Wouldn't be a man if I didn't need that, now would I? How's Ashley, by the way? She's single? What about your brothers, man? Ain't you in it for the lost? Everything I do is about the lost. I don't exist without my brothers, without you. If you don't get that, then you don't get nothing, John Boy. Is that state of affairs? Yeah, well, it's some tough love you're showing them. Get your fuck! 
fucking bike! your bike. Take what you gotta take, drink what you gotta drink, fuck what you gotta fuck. I don't care. Kill who you gotta kill, but get it out of your system. Hmm. And when you do, give me a call and we'll get back to business. You're not my P.O., brother. Remember who the head of this chapter is. I do, man. Trust me. Tell me, do you still have Ashley's phone number? Why don't you give her a call for me? Tell her I'm inside getting all sorts of fucked up, and that I would really like some, I mean, we, meaning all of us, would love some whole. I'm the junior high style, shaped like a mother, though. Tell them, honey, I was saying the same thing. You hands down. Dead beat motherfuckers won't patch in a gal. Forget about it. I says, I ain't no oh! <laughs> Fuck you! I love all wrestling. Ah! Uh, is that right? It's 
that name? I escaped with first degree burns, but if I had been caught, it would have been first degree murder. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Next one is higher. Did you get a manicure? Oh, Shut up and get ready to lose. Damn well, better believe it. Got him, I'm a man! You want to get a bike, ain't you? 